put the tops back on. Oh, 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 well in. Here we come. Pretty well in. Well there. I saw people at a country fair uh, forging in the fire, making various components, and it uh, just was so fascinating that I just had to get in and try. And uh, so I got a fire and a hammer and something to hit the metal on. I was gone. Now the side. Now over the top. I come from an island where an island nation where we have a lot of lush vegetation um, there's a lot of natural history and as a boy I was very interested in natural history plants animals insect life and so that was a great resource for me rather than look at what other blacksmiths had made and use them as a resource. I looked at what architects and artists and sculptors were working on and used them more as an influence so that my work was different to all the other blacksmiths. Just put this mushroom here, that'll take the heat, then I can cut that and we're away. And we'll see what sort of a crop we get out of this. Don't start from the top. I work on the basis of freely forged work from the fire. I don't force the metal into a direction it maybe doesn't want to go. It maybe tells me I can actually go in a better direction than I was thinking in my mind's eye, and I just have to be flexible. My creative process in sketching and making is largely that I have to m have the visualization of the finished product with all its processes sorted out in my mind's eye and then I put all that down on paper to show to my client and generally speaking then what I have in my head looks like the sketch and the client gets a good deal. Last little bit of heat in the fire, just for reassurance. And then I'm going to pull this out, one on top of the other, like that, like that, and back. Well done. He's even got a smile. That's brilliant. <laughs> got to put his eyes in now while it's still on the stick. The conditions that the Smiths, certainly in Arizona, have to work in at some time in the year are pretty hostile, and that is a mark of their determination and they somehow get around those problems and survive. But the quality of work that I've seen, certainly in the, 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 the limited time and area of Phoenix that I've seen is way in step with uh, what we do back home in, in Europe. Yeah. Like this. You know I think we're in a, a strong position 
Um, we've spent, uh, certainly in, the, uh, in England, the United Kingdom, we've spent possibly 30 years transforming um, the blacksmith's craft from 18th, 17th, 18th century techniques and styles into the 21st century, where people with modern houses are looking for quality, they're looking for style, and they're looking for cost-effectiveness. And I think what we have evolved into is rather than just an artisan craft skill, we are designer makers, we are artists, we are sculptors, we, we actually draw the image, we support that with some solid three-dimensional samples and we offer a full all-round service to our clients. One last thing, I've come here offering um, my uh, approach to the metal and this might be very European, it might be very foliage, tendrils, natural history. What I've gained here are cacti, desert, mountains and now I can go back home and make my competition pieces to reflect Arizona and some of the guys here in Arizona can make their pieces a little bit European and so we share the, the inspiration and we, we go, go away richer and, and the better for it. I'm Richard Bend, I'm a designer, blacksmith and sculptor, but primarily I'm a blacksmith. But I use this sort of detail here. Um, I've, got a, um, I've got a gate here I can show you in, in here. Okay. And you can see a collar on here mm -hmm. where I change from having oh, okay. um, the, oh, yeah. the flat that's been tapered under the hammer. Mm -hmm. And I then want to weld that onto my stock bar, my, my, my Okay. So I weld one of that, one end of that into there. And then I put my square up oh, in and see. weld the other side because when I galvanize, even oh. though I could grind that weld off absolutely perfectly yeah. flat, when it galvanizes, it raises the weld line. Oh, and you'd okay. see a little seam around each one. Okay. So I work with the difficulty and I say, well, if it's going to show the weld, I'll use the weld. Mm -hmm. And so by welding that, welding that on like that and having a little bead around there, oh, okay. it's built into the work. I'm mm -hmm. designing for the difficulty.